All right, we're going to uh, do another, looks like a uh, molar mass problem. Uh, whenever you're converting between moles, uh, moles and mass, whenever you're converting between these two, uh, you're going to need the molar mass and use that as a conversion factor to convert between the two. All right, so the first thing we need to do is get the uh, formula for iron, two hydroxide. Iron is a transition metal. So we're going to have to tell you the charge uh, of that cation, and we tell you that in parentheses. Uh, hydroxide is a uh, polyatomic ion. So we're going to crisscross these uh, the numbers to get the ratio in the formula. It's going to be Fe, and then we, we need a parentheses around hydroxide because there's two of them. All right, so let's get the molar mass of uh, iron 2 hydroxide. Um, let's pick a different color. All right, iron uh, on the periodic table has a 50, uh, 55.845 is what I have on my periodic table. That's the molar mass of uh, iron is um, grams per mole. Now, how many oxygens do we have? Uh, we have two oxygens because you got to distribute that two outside the parentheses. So that's 15.845. Uh, 999 times 2 is going to be 31.998 grams per mole. All right, hydrogen, we also have two of those. Uh, it's 1.008 times 2 is going to be uh, 1. Point, um, I'm just 2. Uh, sorry. is going to be a 2.016 grams per mole. And we're going to add all these components up to get the molar mass of iron to hydroxide. So let me punch these numbers. And did you get, uh, did you get 89.859? grams per mole for the molar mass of uh, iron 2 all right hopefully you did because that's that's how you uh that we need that to convert all right that that's our conversion factor for uh that we're going to use all right so uh let's see what the problem is asking us it's uh 2.50 moles convert that to grams all right we're going to go from moles to grams moles to grams all right remember that 2.50 moles of uh, FeOH2. Uh, we want to go to grams. So we want to get rid of moles. Uh, that same unit has to go on the other side of the conversion factor uh, to cancel it out. And the desired unit will go on the top of that. All right, so grams of iron 2 hydroxide. All right, so that, that was the whole point of this uh, finding the molar mass is because now that's going to be used as our conversion factor. So uh, let's see. All right, let's punch these numbers in our calculators. We're just multiplying the two numbers, and uh, this is this is gone now. Uh, times 2.5. All right, so the answer is uh, 225, because we're rounding to three sig figs grams of uh, iron to hydroxide. And I didn't mean to put that on a different line. I just I ran out of space.